Hi, I'm Martino Ruggiero, Wave Runner Product Manager with Yamaha Watercraft. The Yamaha Wave Runner FX Series is equipped with the state-of-the-art Connext infotainment system. For 2024, we've updated the home screen layout. We've streamlined the design to provide a cleaner and more user-friendly interface and enlarged important display information for the rider, like speed and RPM. With this amazing interface, riders have total control of the Wave Runner's technological features right at their fingertips. Now, let's take a closer look at how to access these features so that you can more confidently run the water. Starting at the top of the Connects display after startup, you'll notice seven different menu tabs, which from left to right indicate home screen, maps, unit information, drive control, media, settings, and your Wave Runner security system. Now, let's take a look at the home screen. This is where you will find the basic information needed to safely operate your Wave Runner on the water. Located in the center of your screen is a digital speedometer, which displays your current speed in either miles or kilometers per hour. This measurement can be changed in your unit settings, a menu we will discuss later on in this video. Below your speedometer is a digital tachometer, which shows the RPM of the engine. Your digital tachometer is synchronized to the visual RPM arc, which gives the rider an additional visual of their engine's RPM. On the right side of the screen is the fuel gauge, which displays your current fuel level using the fuel indicator bars. On the left-hand side of your screen, you'll find your current trim settings. This meter displays how high or how low your current trim level is. Your trim level can be changed by using the button controls on the left side of your handlebars. You can also use one of your unit's built-in drive control modes to auto-adjust your trim, or you can create and save custom trim settings, which we will discuss later in this video. Below trim in the bottom left corner of your display is the battery voltage meter. This shows your Wave Runner's current electrical power, which is useful information for any electronics you may bring for your day on the water. On the right-hand bottom corner of your display is your Wave Runner's shift position. This will indicate whether your Wave Runner is in the forward, neutral, or reverse position, and can be changed by squeezing your forward throttle or ride reverse throttle. Now let's take a look at the icons in the center of your lower display. These are your unit's system indicator lights, which are used to indicate possible issues and additional information about your unit. Let's go over these icons starting from left to right. The first icon is a mute button. When your Wave Runner is low on fuel, a buzzer will sound. You can mute this buzzer by selecting the mute button at the bottom of the home screen. When this icon is illuminated on your display, it means that the buzzer is muted and will no longer sound. Next to the mute icon from left to right is the unit temperature indicator, check engine indicator, oil, and service warning light. These icons will illuminate to indicate potential issues with your Wave Runner unit or when you need to have your Wave Runner serviced. To select your drive control mode, Select the middle icon from the menu bar at the top of your Connects display. This will bring up the drive control menu. Economy mode sets your trim and speed settings for the most fuel efficient riding. This mode uses a medium acceleration rate and sets your speed range between 20 to 40 miles per hour to maximize fuel efficiency. You can adjust your speed using the speed adjust button next to your right hand grip. On your digital tachometer, the optimal RPM rate for fuel efficiency will also be highlighted. When you select Economy Mode, it will be indicated in the bottom menu bar and your trim icon and menu highlights will be green. Comfort Mode utilizes automatic trim based on speed, raising the bow to ensure a smooth and comfortable experience for those longer rides. In this mode, your trim icon and menu highlights will turn light blue. Performance Mode is designed for aggressive, high-performance riding. This mode auto-trims based on speed and maximizes quick acceleration to provide the most exhilarating ride. It's great for experienced riders who want to push their Wave Runner to the limit. In performance mode, your trim icon and menu highlights will turn red. Tow mode is a new drive control mode to provide optimal settings for pulling riders on a tube. Speed is set at 15 miles per hour and the trim is lowered for quicker planing and to reduce spray to riders. You can adjust your speed between 10 and 25 miles per hour using the speed adjust button next to your right hand grip. With tow mode, your trim icon and menu highlights will be orange. You can also create a custom drive mode by selecting a top speed and acceleration rate, slow, medium, or fast. Here we see medium acceleration with the top speed set for 30 miles per hour. 
Make sure the icon to the right of your settings is in the on position using your Connects keypad controls or by touching the icon with your finger on the Connects touchscreen display. Next, let's take a look at your navigation display. To access this display, select the Navigation tab, which is located just next to your Home Screen tab. Once you have your region-specific Maps card, there is no need for an additional navigational device. The Connext infotainment system provides a convenient, built-in navigational display. Let's check out how to access some of your other navigational features. Near the bottom of your navigation display is a bar with three dots. This is your navigation overflow menu. Select these by touching them on the display or by using the touchpad controls. From this menu, you can select Go To or Add Waypoints, Follow, Create, or Record a Track, Geofencing, and Your Settings using the shortcut icon. Waypoints are useful for navigating to points of interest. To view a previously saved waypoint, simply select Waypoint from your navigational features list. Select Go To and select a previously saved waypoint. Your WaveRunner can store up to 10 of these points of interest. Once you have reached your waypoint, your WaveRunner will prompt you with a pop-up to see if you're ready to stop navigation. If you would prefer to add a new waypoint, select Add Waypoint. You'll be prompted to name your new waypoint using three alphabetical characters. Once you've named your waypoint, select Save and that waypoint is ready for use. Remember, if you already have 10 previously saved waypoints, you'll need to delete an old one before saving your new waypoint. Another useful navigational tool is your WaveRunner's track system. Select tracks from your navigational features overflow list. From here, you'll be prompted to follow, create, or record a new track. To follow a track, simply select follow and select one of your saved tracks. If you want to create a new track, select create track from the menu prompt. Decide where you want to start your new track and tap that location on the map. Next, you can set midpoints, designated as triangles, in the same manner that you selected your starting point. Multiple midpoints can be created for a track. Finally, set your destination point, which is designated as a checkered flag. Select Done, and you are ready to name your new track. The track naming function is the same as the waypoint naming function. After naming your new track, select Save. You can save up to five tracks total. And if you already have five saved, just remember to delete an old track if you would like to create any new ones. Finally, you can record your rides by selecting Record Track from the Overflow menu prompt. Your WaveRunner will begin recording your ride by using its built-in GPS. Whenever you reach your destination, select tracks from the menu prompt again. A pop-up should appear asking if you'd like to stop recording. After selecting Stop, you can choose to save your newly recorded track. The final navigation feature we'll discuss is Yamaha's geofencing feature. This is useful for restricting family members or a novice rider to specified areas on the water. You can set the virtual boundary by selecting the geofence button from the navigation overflow menu prompt. The screen will prompt you to select the radius and choose the distance a rider can travel within that radius. Now, if anyone rides your WaveRunner out of your desired area, they will receive a warning sound with a notification, prompting them to return to the virtual boundary. Now let's take a look at your WaveRunner's infotainment screen. This screen contains important system data for your WaveRunner, such as your trip time, distance, fuel usage, and engine hours. If you want to get the most out of your watercraft, this information is important to check out. Now, let's move on to your WaveRunner's entertainment functions. One of the most convenient features of the Yamaha FX series is the ability to connect your smartphone or other mobile device to the Connext infotainment system via Bluetooth. To connect your device, start by selecting the music menu icon at the top of the display using the touchpad controls located at the bottom right of your steering column, or simply by touching the icon on the touchscreen display. Near the top of the screen, you should see a gray bar labeled Bluetooth with a picture of a smartphone. Selecting this button will bring up your phone management menu, which is a list of your paired devices. From here, you also have the functionality to add a new device. This functionality can also be accessed through your system screen, which we will discuss later. 
To add a new device, select the blue Add Device icon at the top of the menu. This will prompt you to put your cellular device in pairing mode. If your device is in pairing mode, it should appear in the screen list to select for pairing. Select your device name and it will begin pairing to the Connext infotainment system. A notification will appear to indicate a successful pairing. Now that your phone is connected, you're ready to listen to your own music as well as take calls out on the water and see incoming text messages on the Connect screen. With your phone connected and safely stowed away while you ride, you can use the music screen functions to change your volume or song selection. At idle speeds, you can use the touch screen to play, pause, skip tracks, or restart the current song. You can also use the audio keypad at the bottom left of the steering column. Hit the restart track icon twice to go to the previous song. Volume can be adjusted by sliding your finger along the bottom volume bar. You can also use the audio keypad located at the bottom left of the steering column to control media while on or off the media screen. Use the plus or minus buttons to control volume and scroll through tracks using the left and right arrow buttons. You can also take calls right from the water by selecting the talk button when a call notification appears on screen. Notice on this screen, just like the navigation screen, fuel and trim levels are always displayed. The bottom of the screen also displays the same items found on your home screen, such as battery voltage meter, warning and information lights, and a variable footer that can display other information, such as your clock, missed calls or texts, and the current music track. Let's move on to your settings menu. This includes settings related to the overall functionality of the infotainment system, like the system language, brightness, time, and speed format. Security is a top priority for Yamaha. That's why Yamaha Wave Runners include features to help keep your watercraft protected. The key security feature is Yamaha's four-digit security pin, which locks the engine and prevents any unauthorized startup. To set this pin, select the security icon at the top of your display. A keypad should appear on your display. Enter any four digits of your choosing and then select the blue engine lock key. Now, your Wave Runner engine will remain off until the security code is entered again. The engine lock pin can be different or the same every time, depending on your preference. With the Yamaha Connects infotainment system, you can be sure that your Wave Runner is always secure and protected. We hope you enjoyed our tutorial and learned how to unlock the full potential of your Wave Runner's Connects display. Remember to consult your owner's manual for more detailed information on features and settings. When riding, remember to always follow your local rules and regulations in order to safely operate your watercraft with respect to other riders and the environment. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the water.